Do you want to create social media templates to sell on Etsy and make passive income daily? It is so easy to achieve with Adobe Express. Let me share with you my exact step-by-step -step process from deciding which templates to create to creating them and listing them on Etsy and actually getting sales. I'm so excited to work with Adobe Express for today's video to share with you how you can create flawless social media templates for your business and much more. Let's begin with what is Adobe Express and how can you use it for your business? Adobe Express is an online platform as well as an app that you can get on your phone or your tablet that will help you create unique graphics and templates for your business. You can use it on your computer by going to adobe.com express. What can you create with Adobe Express? You can choose from a flyer, logo, banner, social posts, stories, ads, YouTube thumbnails, and much more. You can also choose to design something in your desired size and create something that fits your needs. You can choose from one of their existing templates to create your graphics or you can create your own graphics that you can use many times over. For selling these templates on Etsy, you will need to create them from scratch. Here are some things that you will love about Adobe Express that you didn't even think of. You get a free background removal feature for now, resizing images, converting images, cropping, video settings such as trimming, cropping, resizing or turning them into GIFs, creating, editing and organizing PDFs and so much more. You can also create a QR code with Adobe Express. What do you get with the Adobe Premium Membership? You will get access to more templates, more fonts, you can add your logo and brand colors so you can use them when creating your designs and add them to your design with one click. You can plan, schedule and publish content, resize images, have more storage and much much more. But if you want to give all of these a try, make sure to click the link below to try Adobe Express free for 30 days. Now how do you create this type of templates and sell them on Etsy as I did myself? We will go through these steps together. First, choosing which templates to sell on Etsy. Second, creating them in Adobe Express. Third, sharing the link to these templates in a PDF file. Fourth, creating the Etsy listing, the listing photos, the title, tags, description and adding the PDF. And fifth, getting people to find your Etsy listing and make more sales with the help of Etsy teams and social media promotion. Now let's start with number one, choosing which templates to sell on Etsy. To choose which templates you wanna sell on Etsy, you need to find ones that have low competition but a considerable amount of search volume. For that, we will share the example of Instagram post templates as I did as well. You can find the templates I created using Adobe Express in my Etsy shop and on my website in my shop. First, let's go on Etsy and type in the search bar, Instagram post templates. You will see that they give you a few ideas of templates that you can be creating for your audience. For example, wellness Instagram post template. You can check how many results you get and that will help you determine the competition. And you can also use Sales Samurai with the link below to find more keywords for your listing or products that are selling really well on Etsy right now. Now let's move on to number two. Now that you've chosen which type of templates you want to create, you can go to adobe.com express if you want to design the templates on your computer or you can download the app on your iPad or on your phone. Make sure to create an account if you don't have one already and create your first project. Now, each project in Adobe Express can have up to 30 pages. So if you want to sell 100 Instagram post templates, for example, you will need to share four of these projects, three with 30 pages and one with 10. Also, if you want to get your brand colors there and your brand fonts when designing these templates, you will need to get the Adobe Express membership or you can get the 30 day free trial. If you don't want that, just make sure to keep the color codes in handy when you're designing the template so you can copy them and paste them when you need to add a certain color to a design. Now let's begin a project for an Instagram post, a simple one, 1080 pixels on 1080 pixels. Then start creating your templates and I will show you how I created a few of my own. For example, I will create this template where I showcase a search bar and a few options people can choose from. I will use shapes for that to find my desired ones Add the colors, use a background color as well, and use text in a font that would fit my brand or the brand that I'm trying to represent with my templates. For the photos, you can also choose ones from Adobe Stock or upload your own. For the next template, I will show you how to design this one right here. I have added a photo, choose to move freely, go to edit, crop and shape, and choose the circle shape. Then I've added the background color, the shapes, and beautifully finished with some text. The amazing thing about Adobe Express that you probably haven't seen on any other design platforms is that they give you a bunch of creative ways to display your text. You can choose magic and let the words be arranged asymmetrically. You can align in center, left or right, 
choose curved options or more. If you don't have any ideas for templates that you might be creating, you can use these features, the text features they have, the images features they have, to just add an element first and then add on from there. So now you're done creating your templates. How do you share them with your buyers? How do you sell them in your Etsy shop? First, you go to Adobe Express Projects and you name your projects. For example, Instagram Templates 1, Instagram Templates 2, Instagram Templates 3 and 4, or as many as you have. Then click Share as Template, add to a library that you create specifically for those templates and give it a name. For example, 100 Instagram Posts for Wellness. Now you go to the library and share the link for that. Anyone with the link will have access to your library and will be able to use your templates. Another really cool thing you can do with Adobe Express is go duplicate that project and then resize the templates each page at a time. For that, as I said, make a copy of the project, rename it, then click on it and go resize it to another Instagram post size that you want. Or you can also resize it to an Instagram story and just arrange the elements a bit. That is, of course, if you also want to share these in story format. Now, what do you do with the link that you just copied for that library? You will need to create a PDF file that you will share with the people that buy your product. For that, create an A4 document, add a background color, type in a title, your shop name or link, and add the link in a text by sharing get your templates here. You can also add a click shape to prove that that's where people need to click to get their template. Then save the document as a PDF. You'll be using that in your listing for people to be able to get access to their digital download once they've purchased your product. But right now we need to take care of creating your listing photos for Etsy. The first thing you need to do is download the templates to your computer that you've created so you can have them in handy so you can showcase them in the listing photo. Next, choose the Etsy listing photo size. I use 2700 2025 pixels. Now choose a title for your listing and arrange the templates photos to showcase them. Offer information about them, how they can be edited, what can people edit, how many templates will people get, what types of templates, and so much more. You can use my listing as an inspiration, you can find the link for them below. Download these and have them ready for your Etsy listing creation. Now you'll need to go to your Etsy shop manager and create a new listing. If you're just opening your Etsy shop, make sure to click the link below to get 40 free listings when opening it. Now you'll need to add the listing photos, an SEO optimized title, description, tags, choose the digital download option for your product. To find out exactly how to optimize your listing for SEO, how to create a listing for a digital download, make sure to follow this playlist right here with all things Etsy related. After adding all of those, you'll need to add your PDF file as the product file that people will get when purchasing your product. And then you can list your item and we can move on to promoting it. Make sure to also create a listing video for your product. Now, how do you promote an Etsy listing? There are a few ways you can do that. The first way is completely free and you can do that by joining Etsy teams and participating in discussions. This will help you gain views, favorites or likes for your listings and your shop. This will help you rank in search on Etsy and make more sales. Another way to promote your Etsy listings is by creating social media accounts for your brand, for your business and promoting them there. I have lots of videos on how to do that on my channel, so make sure to check those out. Make sure to also optimize your shop, brand it, add more information about your business to ensure more sales. So there you go. This is how you use Adobe Express to create social media templates that you can sell on Etsy or in your own website. Make sure to check out mine below and if you want to get them for your business, feel free to do so because they are easily editable with Adobe Express and you can then download them and use them for your social media content. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you out and if it did don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe down below for more such videos weekly thank you for being here and i will see you in my next video